In the inaugural season of Live Golf, events were held all over the world. Brooks Kepka has arrived as a force on the Live Golf Tour. From Bangkok to Boston. DJ shout the crowd. He is our champion in Boston. And London to Miami. In he goes. Four aces. The 2023 season began in Mayacoba, Mexico. Charles Howell III is our champion in Mexico. And now, live heads down under to Adelaide, Australia, where the players couldn't wait to get in front of the golf-starved fans. Bringing Live Golf down to Australia is going to be really cool. I think it's going to be received really well down there. I think the crowds are going to be great. I just really think that everyone's going to have a great time down there. The tournament in Australia is going to be really special because they love Live Golf and they have a team to support. Ripper GC, an all Aussie team, and will be roared on by some 75,000 fans. I'd love to be the first one to win a Live event in Australia. I think it'll be unreal. I think the boys will love it. I think uh, all the other players on all the other teams will love it. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, look, we've got 75,000 fans for three, three and a half days of golf. That hasn't happened for years, and especially in Adelaide, they haven't had a golf tournament for years. I think there'll be a bunch of rowdy people there. Look at that. What an atmosphere. <laughs> it's exciting. It's going to be an amazing ride. This is Live Golf Adelaide, and it starts right now. As round one got underway, the atmosphere was electric, and the crowd quickly rallied behind a homegrown favorite. Look at the reception for Cam Smith, the captain of Ripper GC, the all Aussie quartet. Beautiful shot. And the gallery is absolutely loving everything he does. It felt like everyone was right behind me, but it was kind of a little bit stressful too. So, uh, yeah, look forward to the weekend. I'm sure it'll be much more of the same. The party is in full swing. The golf has been simply mesmerizing. The biggest story of the first two rounds was the extraordinary play of Range Goats GC, Taylor Gooch. Taylor Gooch with his second shot at 16. Oh, my goodness, Taylor Gooch is tearing it up out there. I'm seeing like left center, pretty flat. You got it, buddy. This is Taylor Gooch to take the outright lead at six under par. His putter is on fire at the moment. Well, that's a casual 62 for Taylor Gooch. That's the joint lowest round in live golf history, 62. To have my lowest round uh, in professional golf in Australia is great. Things just kind of kept going, kept going, kept going. So it's just, you know, those type of rounds that you wish you could have more of. Yeah. 245. You can have 200. Gooch yeah. continued to tear up the course in round two okay. with some okay. helpful tips from his caddy, Mal Baker. Get a good beat on this win. Yeah. So far, I've felt like it's here. Yeah. Like, Which so close to spreading. How good a round was that by Taylor Gooch yesterday? If he hits the ball the way he did yesterday, again today, it's mm. going to be really hard for somebody to catch him. Third, the other one, you know, just because of the shape and the breeze. I just think that's the better play. Taylor Gooch has this for Eagle. It's an absolute masterclass. Good job, mate. From Taylor Gooch here in Adelaide. He has taken complete command of the individual race here in Adelaide. 62, 62. 20 under par. I've never gone 62, 62 before. That, that's on this type of golf course in these conditions in front of this crowd, man. It's it's special. Uh, we got another round left. The Range Guns got a big round tomorrow, so uh, still completely locked in. But man, it was it was really good out there today. Gooch was seeking his first individual title, 
as well as his first team win with his friends on the newly formed Range Goats GC. The squad he joined after winning the team championship with Dustin Johnson's four races in Miami last year. Taylor, he saw what this whole picture is. He wanted to be a part of a family, and that's what we're trying to create at the Range Goats. And he wanted to play with Harold and, and Bubba, which was fine. Harold Varner is one of my, my best buddies, and being able to be with Bubba and you know kind of start a new team, the Range Goats, it's, it was a cool opportunity, and it was one that I didn't want to pass up. After Miami, just talking to Gooch, I'm like, you like winning, right? And I'm like, you better really enjoy this one because it's the last time you're going to win, which is probably true. But didn't want him to leave, but he did. Man, they're all my, my boys, you know? Um, and so that wasn't an easy conversation to have, but they all, you know, gave me a hug and said, hey, good luck, man. And uh, DJ gave me an extra, good luck. Good, good luck trying to beat us next season. Yes, sir. For two days, the Aussie fans created an unparalleled atmosphere in Adelaide. The party was the most happening at the 12th, otherwise known as the Watering Hole. What an atmosphere at the 12th hole here at the Grange in Adelaide. There was no better spot than the watering hole for comedian Bert the Machine Kreischer to get in on the experience. It's the noise for the one and only Bert Kreischer! I am so excited. I am so nervous. I know, I know. I'm like, good. Yeah, yeah. Soft seven, everybody. Soft seven. Follow through, keep your head down, and let's get a hold of one. Do you know the feeling when you fall in love and then you go, I could do this all the time. I could be with her all the time. I think I fell in love. Chase Kepka stepped to the watering hole in round three and proved Kreischer's prediction was no joke. I mean, I actually had to like sit back there for a second and take it all in before I hit that shot. I knew kind of with the adrenaline flowing, I didn't need to smash it to get there. Uh, but I mean, I hit it perfect. Chase Kepka at 12, the watering hole, he's posing. It was sitting just above where I couldn't really see after it landed. I just heard the, the crowd just getting louder and louder and louder. Chase Kepka. Oh! There it is! Like, did that actually really just happen? We promised you an ace on 12, and Chase Kepka has delivered! Good celebration. Usually golf celebrations are terrible and high fives missed and whatever, but uh, you got a few good chest bumps and the Gronk spike for the club was pretty special. He was whooping himself, he was slamming his club on the ground. That's one of the great moments in live golf history. I had no clue. I mean, I, I heard the roar, obviously. Oh, Bert! <laughs> I was playing with Sebastian Munoz and I look at his caddy. He look at me, he's like, there's a hole in one. <laughs> we knew straight away what had happened. You just knew. I mean, it felt like the, the ground was moving. There's one to remember. As the party continued at the watering hole, Taylor Gooch had little to celebrate as his 10-stroke lead was vanishing. Taylor Gooch, second shot of the eighth. His lead down to six. Gooch's lead down to one. What was that? Oh, my. Just that little bit of doubt. It has not entered his mind yet. Good start. You'll be all right in that pot. Yeah. You get a bit of room there. The story developing here is the wobble that is being suffered at the moment by Taylor Gooch. It's going to roll. It's going to roll down to the bottom of the hill. Crusher's GC Anurban Lahiri's run of birdies cut into Gucci's once insurmountable lead. The Eagle at seven turns and goes in. Anurban Lahiri has closed the gap to four strokes. As Gucci's individual lead dwindled, so too did the Range Goats margin in the team competition. And it was Gucci's former teammates who made their charge. Peter Uline for the four aces. It looks good. And the four aces are charging again. Pat Perez is stalking the 12th green. He is pumped. 
Everybody's pumped. They are yet to taste victory in 2023. Oh! Yes, you little beauty! And that is a three-stroke lead for the four aces, who are closing in on the first victory of 2023. Well, is the range go dream just slipping away? They came into Championship Sunday with a three-stroke lead. It just hasn't happened for them all day. Dustin Johnson for a par at three. Oh, yeah. Surely will lock it up for the four aces. The four aces had secured their first victory of the 2023 season. But the battle for the individual title continued. Lahiri's pursuit of Gooch was relentless. And with three holes to play, the championship was within his grasp. Lahiri! And he closes in to within two shots of Taylor Gooch. With only a two-stroke lead, with two holes to go, Taylor Gooch had to dig deep. Crucial moments here in Adelaide. Now then, Gooch for part at 17. Yeah. Ah, strong stuff there. Taylor Gooch looking to close out his first live golf title. Thanks, folks. Thanks. Taylor Gooch at 18. It's been a thrilling championship Sunday. You know, that's how it used to always be, coming off the last hole of golf tournament. Get all those old pitches of the open when I was trying to get to the green. That there a starting line. You got it, boss. Well, two putts to secure victory for Taylor Gooch. These are massive moments in this man's career. an almighty wobble in the middle of his championship Sunday round, but he displayed all the guts and temperament of a champion. He's a live golf winner for the very first time. Winning on this type of golf course in front of this type of a crowd is, is not easy and incredible. I can't wait to be back. The four aces have played their first winning hand of 2023, our reigning champions, having finished second, second and third so far this season, they're back in the winner's circle. 47 under par, that's a live golf record. Obviously all the boys played really well, you know, it was a team effort and just hoped to get our first win of the year. Boy oh boy, what a three days we have had here in Adelaide at the Grange, it's been staggering. What an experience for everybody involved here.